Hey guys, Kyle Timmon here, Bullion RV, Duluth, Minnesota, and today we have for you, freshly arrived, it's a 2022 uh, Keystone Montana 3871RL. We'll get you on the outside, we'll get you inside, we'll see what you think. We'll show you the couple new options that Keystone's coming out with on our Montanas. Um, we'll let you know about those today, the 2022 models. And we'll see what you guys think. So up front, you got a really nice front fiberglass cap that wraps around to let the water roll off and the beads off the side. Really like that feature there. Um, you got the road armor um, with the big thick rubber right here to prevent, help prevent chucking. Um, up under here is your storage, battery disconnect, um, and then you do have solar on board, so there's a um, disconnect for that as well. This does have six point auto level on it. Get you in. You got two 30 pound LP tanks. You do one on this side on the driver's, and then one over on the driver's side as well. Really big drop frame pass through storage with heat. You can see the vent right there. You can see the nice aluminum frame construction. Big inverter over on the other side. We can't show that when we get over there. Right here is going to be kind of your entertainment center. You got a vacuum outside. You got your satellite hookup, spot for a TV, TV mounter. You know, maybe put the receiver or something down here. You do have more power out here. And then tucked under here, you have an LP uh, quick connect. So you can kind of make this a nice little area for an outdoor kitchen, so to say. Nice little grill area for you. Um, right under that, you got your outdoor speakers. You can see the frameless windows. Uh, right here, you do have your one big awning. And then tucked over on that side, you have another awning that comes off the slide, which is really nice. Get you going past the door. We got the big solid steps, the mole red, the step above, excuse me. The big solid steps that come all the way to the ground. Really secure, big huge grab handle. Right here you can see the solar flex. This unit has uh, 400 watts of solar on top. It's a 3781 RL. <clears throat> tuck down this motor home. Again, big awning, LED lights under those awnings. On the back side, you have a ladder to get to the roof, fully walkable roof. Check out all those slides before you bring them in. Um, really make sure that there's no debris so you don't ruin anything there. This is prep for a backup camera. So right up there, you got prep for a backup camera. Got a towing option with this coach. Put a small trailer or a small boat behind it if you want to do that. On a 50 amp service back here as well. Come around the driver's side. See this nice big slide, I'm kind of back up and show this whole coach. I don't know if you can see them up there, but it's going to be here are your two solar panels. You got 200 watt solar panels. Also, you got your air, your air 360 wine guard up there as well. Come around the other side of the pass-through storage. There's going to be that inverter right there. You can see the motion lights popping on, which is going to be really nice. You also have your whole water station here tank poles inside, TV satellite hookup, another solar prep if you have a little uh, ground unit, outdoor exterior shower on here as well. Really nice system all inside this heated bay here. This is going to be where your other 30 pound tank is. Like I said, electric auto level, just push the button, walk away, start your camping. Really nice. So we'll continue around and we'll get you back on the front side and we'll get you in this coach here. So heading up the stairs, really nice big grab handle. Right as you walk in to the coach, you'll see these little motion lights kind of everywhere too, which is really nice by the stairs, right by where you're walking. So if you want to turn on all the lights, you don't have to. You get your washer dryer prep right as you walk in or a nice spot for wardrobe coats, anything hanging in here. Really cool spot. Again, motion light above that. You got really good deep storage up there around this whole corner. So that's really nice there. And then you got your whole motherboard, slide systems, water, lights, all that stuff is all right in here for you. Max air fan switch in here. And then a nice little pantry area here for you too. Again, motion lights 
and everywhere, which is really nice. You don't gotta try to find, fight to find a light switch when it's dark. Just pop on. GE residential fridge and freezer, which is gonna be really nice. Another nice feature you'll see on the side box, you have this little PVC style carpeting. Um, it's going to be a puncture, puncture resistant carpeting, so if you did get, you know, rocks or debris or anything under there, you do have it over here by the table and such, so you're not going to poke holes through there. Also, it's going to be really easy to clean, so if you got pets or kids or just out in the dirt or something, you know, you can really just wipe it down, clean it a lot easier than carpet. Keep all the odors out of here as well. Really nice feature. Um, come to the kitchen island. Really nice big island. Great working space. You got power on this side, um, crock pot, coffee pot, anything you want to do. A lot of cupboards on this side. Really nice thing I like about these, you open these up, you got a light as soon as you open them. Light goes off as soon as you close them. Cool little feature. Also comes with sink cover, so if you want to cover this whole thing and use this all as a working space, is great. And again, power on this other side as well, so maybe a crock pot, coffee pot, something on this side. A lot of counter space in the kitchen as well on either side of the stove. You get these cool little push pucks that pop up, give you USB, give you power, and that's gonna be on both sides of the sink. A lot of pull-up drawers, a lot of space in here. Above and below, you got a three burner cooktop with a glass cover, so it just kind of gives you that more space. Really nice commercial feel to it, or, or it's just say residential feel to it. Excuse me. Good size oven. You got a convection microwave in here as well. Nice size convection microwave. Little storage above. Get your spices on a pull-out rack. Kind of pop them in there, which is cool. Soft closed door, which is really nice. I don't know if you can see that. Kind of come to the side. Soft closed doors on here. Really nice feature. There's your max air fan in the ceiling, the lighting, which is really nice. And then you do have the, do, the new blade air system. So the air shoots out a 360 degree instead of a directional style. So it shoots out and then it'll drop down on you. Really nice new feature there. AC in the back, a lot of cupboards below or above the back couch that does pull out into a bed. And again, on either side of that, which is really nice, you do have USB and 110. A lot of big, beautiful windows back here. You do have the nice dark blackout shade, slow rising. Really nice feature there. Coming right across from the TV, more storage above. Two seater love seat. Let's see. You got heat massage on here. Let's see if we can get this to pull down. Oop, trying to do this one handed. But this does pull down, it gives you a cup holder. And again, if you turn around, it's right across this, right across from the TV, your sound system, your fireplace, you got a JBL sound system in here. So nice name brand quality products. You can see that cool accent lighting that runs across the ceiling really like that so you can kind of change the lights all around you know play with them have them dark dim you know just a little lighting at night or you cook it in here at night brighter ceiling fan to move some of the air in case you don't want to run the ac just open some windows get some cool air and kind of rotate around with the fan which is really nice over here at the dining table you got two chairs here and then you do have power tucked right down there so if you needed a workspace or if you're working from home or working from your camper you can do that right here really nice thing so let's see if we can again get this one handed so the tail pops up you do have these arms that are just on roller bars that pull out you have the table extension and then drop it down to give you a little extra space at the table you know, it gives you all this extra space here. You got two more chairs that are up under the bedroom. Um, I'm going to the king size bed up there. So, again, really easy to work. Just pop it up. Got the camera in one hand. Going to do it with the other hand. So anybody can really do it. Drop it down. And you can see maybe you can stuck some, stick some, you know, cards under there. Maybe a cribbage board, some dice. 
magazines, you know, an atlas of where you're going, want to go next, different things like that. If you're a paper person, want to kind of keep track. Again, notice the nice um, accent lighting kind of even down here. Just kind of a lot of cool little features. Down here, like I said, you have the onboard vacuum. So right down there, you can kick that up, sweep it right in, you get the hose down there. You can see the motion light on the stairs there for you as well. You got this awesome grab handle going up the stairs. Really nice and big. A couple different options how you want to use it going up here. So we'll bring it up. As you notice, there's no carpet throughout this entire coach. Just that little PVC style rugging. Um, but I wouldn't consider that carpet because it's really easy to clean. What I do like though is I'm a music guy in the shower. They give you a speaker back here in the shower. So if you want to listen to music, don't want to miss a beat, favorite songs on, you still want to take a shower, head up here. Really nice big shower too. Spot for the soaps, shampoos, nice little grab handle in case you need that assistance. Nice little stool in here in case you need that as well. You want to shave your legs, do whatever you want for the ladies. And then you do have a nice sky dome, gives you the extra light and that extra height for some of you taller folks. Porcelain stool in here. Again, makes you feel really residential. Tucked in the corner, great place for towels and other stuff that you're going to need. Really good space in here. A lot of storage in this bathroom. So you got that all tucked behind the door. And you can see those are all soft closed doors, which is really nice. And then below the sink, you know, maybe a spot for even a little garbage can. On both sides, put the towel holders tucked right in there away too. And a lot of drawers to fit a lot of stuff. You do got the two sink bowls back here, so no longer fighting. If you guys both want to get in here, there is enough room for two people. So you got two sink bowls, you both got your mirror, and then again, more cabinetry storage right there. A little towel holder, window in the bathroom with the shade on it. And then you do have the max air fan in here as well with the rain guard. So if it is raining, that will just shut on its own. Really nice. Again, big window even in the hallway to bring that natural light in the hallway. Moving into the bedroom, pocket door on the master bedroom. No more swinging that open, it's really nice. Here's that king size bed we were talking about. And again, another AC unit back here. So you got an AC unit dedicated to your bedroom, which is really nice. You do have windows on both sides of the bed. And you got these neat little shelving. You know, in case you have a CPAP machine or something, might fit up here. You got the appropriate power and USB up here, shelving, little reading lights, a um, couple different features. You can go low light just the top. You can go bright light if you want. Shut them off, just a little touch button. You got a window above the bed as well. And like I said, the two sides that open for the cross ventilation. And it looks like. These ones even have the day and night shades back here, which is really nice. TV back in the bedroom. Nice countertop up here in case, you know, you're getting ready to doing something. You have a lot of space, a lot of drawers, just storage everywhere in here. Um, the closet, again, you'll watch, you got a motion light in the closet. That just pops on when you come in here. You got power back here as well in case you need to plug something in. Really good. Um, shelving back here for whatever you got going on. Everybody's got a different situation, different needs, which is nice. More power down there. Storage in the corner here. You do have a hanging bar back here for wardrobe, hang clothes. Um, and then this also has a hamper in here as well. So nice to be able to get the dirty clothes out of the way. Like I said, because you do have a washer and board. Washer and dryer hookup on board, which is going to be really nice. Also, with that solar panel up top, you're going to check out some of these um, outlets here. They're going to be the inverted outlets. So you'll be able to just run, those outlets are just running off of solar. So you get that solar charge, and there are some dedicated outlets just to that solar charge, which is really nice. So we're going to give you a pan from the top. This is the top of the stairs. Nice big space out there. The good dual posing slides gives you a ton of room out here. I like the new grays and lighter colors. Really makes it feel open and airy and bright. Turn that fireplace on. Get about 5,000 BTU. 
worth of heat out of there. So if you got power, you can get some free heat off that, which is going to be really nice. So there it is. You know, if I missed anything, give me a, give me a call. My name is Kyle Dimon. I'm here at Bullion RV in Duluth, Minnesota. My number is 320-290-5834. Happy to answer any questions you have and get you into one of the beautiful fifth wheels or new travel trailers that we have coming in. It's never too late to get a new some new wheels. Uh, give me a call. Happy to help. We'll see ya.